welcome to day seven and eight of our journey. Seven was yesterday, eight is today. We just arrived in Paris, uh, hopefully going to go out for a little drink. But what you guys just saw was Kelly giving directions, because when I do it, we get lost. <laughs> so she seemed to know where she was going. I followed her pretty well. Uh, after that, we went to the Van Gogh Museum first, of course, looking out in the fields, taking a walk. Uh, we couldn't take any pictures in the Van Gogh Museum as it was forbidden. I don't know. It wasn't allowed anyways. And each room had a giant scary guard, so I wasn't even gonna try and sneak that one in. Unfortunate though, because the Van Gogh Museum was awesome. <laughs> Everyone should go. It's not just Van Gogh. You can even see Seurat and all sorts of his influences and people who were influenced by him. That was awesome. Uh, there's even a Rodin uh, sculpture in there, so that was cool. Um, after that, we stopped off for a delicious waffle. Yeah, delicious. They have lots of them. Um, after that, we went for a walk to Vandal Park, another beautiful park. Amsterdam has plenty of places to see, and it's definitely worthwhile checking out. I uh, just kind of wandered around for a bit. Um, after that, <laughs> we uh, went over to see about going and seeing Anne Frank house, but the line was unbelievable, so we skipped that all together. There are some things I did want to mention about Amsterdam. Uh, I, I talked about how they have all these canal systems and they have tons of bridges, but they also, like a lot of their bridges are really low, so some of them just open right up. So I figured I'd show you this lovely video of it opening up because it's important to me. Although there's several ways that they open, this is just one. Uh, one particular bridge. Um, just more art around that we saw. Uh, the pathways around the city are beautiful themselves, low in like the shops and all the people bustling through. But sometimes you can find yourself, it's kind of like a labyrinth, you can look both ways and see no end. So, pretty neat. Uh, that, at the end of our effort on day seven, we ended up staying at a, on a boat for our hotel. It's a boat that actually cruises around people on it, but when it's docked or moored overnight, they also allow other people to stay on it just for the night. So that's what we did. Right? A beautiful little place, tiny, but very well done. And in the morning, we went to uh, a lovely little shop, restaurant, I don't know what they're called, bakery thing. And Kelly got a fancy coffee and another waffle that I also had to have some, which was delicious. So day eight, waffle, and then we went to the palace, which had just reopened. Uh, it In our book, it said that it had been closed indefinitely, and uh, I guess they were wrong, because it was open now. <laughs> Giant said that it's open. So it looks a little menacing on the outside, but the inside is absolutely gorgeous. The chandeliers, I was allowed to take pictures here. Nothing with flash or video, although, you know, um, a beautiful example of Grisai work here. And then it was on the train, to which we hopped on the train to go to Paris. And that was only supposed to be a very short train. We were supposed to be here at 6, it's now almost 9. What had happened, again with our travel plans, is that the train had some sort of electrical problem and was no longer able to go forward, so we sat around for two hours and waited for buses to come pick us up, which eventually came, but due to the Tour uh, de France, um, a little super delayed on that, and then our train driver decided we could probably make it, and then we went the rest of the way by train. But So we had a train trip, just a little longer than we planned. So that's it for day seven and eight. Got you all caught up there. And um, some words that I learned in Dutch, not very many, but one is bedankt, which is thank you. So bedankt everyone for hanging out with me through Amsterdam and uh, bienvenue à Paris. <laughs>